Watch as the magic happens. Welcome to Trick in a Box. Today we're unboxing the Magic Money Printer. Before we get to that, welcome to the channel. My name is Andrew Kanakin. If you are new here, I'm a magician, I'm a hypnotist, and I'm a DJ. So on this channel, we do all kinds of stuff with magic, with hypnosis, and yes, you guessed it, with DJing, music videos, and all that kind of fun stuff as well. So definitely stick around, subscribe, hit the like button, and let's just get right into the video. So how Trick in a Box works, if you are new here, is that we unbox magic tricks, I perform them to you, then we'll reveal them, a little tutorial on them, how they all work, and then we're gonna rate them at the end of the video. There's new episodes every single week, so again, definitely stick around, and when we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going big time, we're going crazy. We're unboxing this guy. Check it out. 300 different magic tricks. This is an absolute treasure chest of magic. I. A lot of the stuff I've never even seen before. So when we get to that 1,000 subscriber mark, we're getting so close. Again, thanks everyone for jumping on. We just started this channel not too long ago, so y'all are awesome. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be absolutely wild. Definitely stick around. One last thing before we get the show really rolling. Congratulations to last episode's winner. You win that magic trick. Again, all you have to do is comment down below and you can win all these different magic tricks. We give them away, I'll send them out anywhere in the world. Without further ado, Let's jump into this magic money printer. I splurged, I'm not gonna lie to you, $1.50 Canadian. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. So with this magic money printer, it gives the illusion of printing real money from a blank piece of paper or change a $1 bill into a $20 bill. Now again, I'm Canadian, I bought this in Canada we don't have $1 bills here, so uh, a little silly. I think it has an American bill on here. But hey, we're gonna do it anyway. It's magic. Um, let's check this thing out. All right. Instructions. We got some very fancy money. Check that out. Ooh, ah. And the actual money changer itself. Again, to be fair, all these ratings, we understand these are dollar magic tricks we're doing right now. So uh, we're going to be kind to them, but uh, still skeptical. Now for the instructions. Again, I read them and I perform it to you right away. No practicing, no rehearsals. We just do it. Just raw, pure, unfiltered magic. All right, let me read this quick. All right, I think I got it. We're just gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna print some real money, okay? If this is really magic, if I'm actually a magician, we can print real money. So uh, let's do this. Okay. We got a uh, little plastic doohickey here with two rollers, two like black ink wells, and a, a piece of blank paper. What we do is we insert the paper thusly Watch as the magic happens. You'll see it actually change into a $50 Canadian bill. All right, that actually went a lot more smooth than I thought it was going to. I was for sure a little pessimistic with uh, how it all worked, but it actually went really, really well. Feel free right now just to pause the video and put your guesses down below in the comments of how it works. I'll wait. Ready? All right, here is the explanation of this money magic trick. As you can imagine, these do roll as you saw in the performance. What happens is there actually is a hidden compartment it actually rolls it right up. So how this works, let's see here. I'm gonna roll this all the way here. Here's the setup. So the setup, how this goes, is you roll the bottom one all the way to the right until you can't roll it anymore. So it's, again, with the black, that's how it works really, really well. It's because it's all black. You can't even see it rolling. You can't see things moving. It hides everything really, really, really well. 
Man, this is $1.50, this whole setup. So how they explain to do this is you have to put the bill, again, this is like a paper one they give you. It's like a fake $100 bill. I just showed the paper side just cause it, yeah, makes more sense. It's kind of weird to take a American fake bill into a $50 Canadian bill. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. You actually have to take whatever bill you wanna change it into. You put it on the back, you insert it there and you have to actually roll it in. So you actually see this thing rolling up. Now from this side, you can't see anything, but it's actually rolling inside in the actual gimmick. That's the setup. So whatever kind of bill you wanna make it to, again, full performance. If I had this set up out to perform for people, I'd have like a piece of paper to like a 10 or five or a hundred or a $1 bill to a hundred or like a $5 Canadian bill to a 50, however you want to do it. You have like signatures, tons of different variations. So honestly, there's a lot of different cool things you can do with it. This is the setup that they have. This is again, out of the box, what they give you and you have to have your own bill obviously with you too. But uh, then you insert the bill, this side, same thing, let it catch. And you tell them how you can actually print money you start rolling, so it'll roll the paper inside, and as it rolls the paper inside, it'll output, it'll reverse roll the bill you loaded before, which is a really cool visual. I got lucky that first time I performed it, actually like the lengths actually worked out really well. This one, not so much. Again, pure luck, but hey, if you do it enough times, you practice, I you can have exactly the distances and all that stuff that you need. So it'll roll this one back inside the machine. The other bill you loaded will roll out. Another nice tip is have it not all the way rolled out. So you can actually just grab it, show them. They can inspect this. Like this is a real bill. There's nothing weird or wonky with this. Hopefully they don't run away with it. And then uh, this, I wouldn't allow them to inspect it because if they start rolling it one direction or another, uh, the other bill will pop out. So probably wouldn't recommend doing that. Again, I was very pessimistic with this magic trick and it worked first time and there's no hiccups. It went, as you saw, pretty smooth considering it's the first time ever doing it. I would give this a six out of 10. The reason being for the little bit lower rating is that you can't actually hand this out. Again, a lot of the stuff you can't, I understand, but it's just, again, it looks just super kind of fishy. But again, it went really smooth. It doesn't just have to be for a bill change, like one thing to the other. Uh, as it says in the instructions, even you have like a signature come out or anything like that. So it's a lot more versatile than the other ones, not just one trick or two tricks. You can really come up and have like as much creation as you want with this magic trick. So uh, overall though, six out of 10, um, pretty decent, honestly. Well, if you like this video, for sure, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Let's reach that thousand subscriber mark. That'd be epic because then we get to open that huge box of magic tricks. It looks awesome, it looks super cool. So again, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video.